Hello, everyone. Thank you very much for having me here. It's a pleasure to be talking to you today. So before I share with you the five key benefits that the professional registration has provided to me, I would like to talk to you first a little bit about my career uh, trajectory. I had the data practice for the UK and Ireland for Google Cloud, and that are divided amongst different in industry verticals, so finance, manufacturing, and retail, and others. And I'm responsible for bringing experience and thought leadership to help to set vision, mission, and strategy, helping our customers to transform and evolve their businesses using AI, machine learning, data management, and smart analytics, and also in a way that is sustainable for our planet. But um, if we go back like 35 years ago, I was a little child and I, uh, after being seven years old, I dreamed of becoming an engineer. I have always been fascinated with things that move and change state, like machines, car, electronic equipment. My main curiosity when I was a child was to understand the mystery behind those things that made them to behave the way they did, and also how I could make them to do what I wanted to do instead. And as a child, I would take radios and computers apart to see how they worked and if I could improve them with a little invention. I have no roles growing, role models growing up. Despite the astonishing work that women have done in technology and engineering, the work has been erased from history. And my passion for engineering technology is what kept me in the field and moving forward. When I graduated in computer science and then in electrical engineering, I did not know where I would fit best or to contribute the most. I would be excited about something and that excitement would move to something else minutes later. Then I learned it's normal. As an engineer, I realized that I was not restricted to any field of science and I was free to do engineering across many fields of engineering. Working as a computer scientist and engineer, I get to dream up about all the amazing inventions that no one else thought of yet and then design and develop those engineering projects. Einstein once said, the, the scientists, they investigate that which already is. An engineer, they create that which has never been. In my career, I have learned that the most difficult problems and the greatest opportunities in engineering, they are not much that technical, they are human. And we will use what we learned as an engineer to create engineering solutions that will change the world. And like the, the generations before us, we will also solve the many problems that engineering and technology brings. We will create new jobs, give machines in the built environment the powers to think, discover cures for illnesses and save our nature. As you can see, engineering is all about human survival. And as such, it requires the strong commitment and devotion to excellence and ethical principles. Becoming a chartered engineer has offered many benefits to my career. I would like to highlight five points that being a chartered engineer has helped me in my career. The first one is to be able to be to tell people that I have uh, this title that is internationally protected and my recognition as a professional engineer uh, make sure that uh, people understand that my competence standard meet the bar set by the engineering council in terms of experience values and skills it also serves as a recognition of me as a professional in my field a charter engineer should be able to develop answers to engineering problems using new or existing technologies in creative and innovative ways. In my interview, I presented many projects that I worked on throughout my career and an example for us to deep dive into. That gave me the opportunity to answer questions and demonstrate that I meet the needs of the engineering sector of today and also of the future. One of the main reasons I wanted to have a professional registration besides the, besides the benefits that it brings to an engineer in terms of recognition was to have my competence independently assessed and my credentials verified. And that is what gave me many, much confidence and faith in my results. Being interviewed by professionals in my field of expertise gave me the opportunity to discuss my work with professionals in my field of expertise and gave me the opportunity to exchange ideas and observe how assessors conduct their work and also create leaders. And it gave me the confidence and faith that I needed to have in my results working as an engineer. It also provided me with improved career opportunity and salary prospects. As a chartered engineer, you can expect to have a higher salary than your known chartered peers. It is because as a, chartered, as a chartered engineer, you have your competence assessed in a way that is worldwide recognized and puts you at a higher level of achieving your career goals. 
It also, number four, is that it also provides me with greater influence in, within my organization. So registration also demonstrates my competence and sound judgment to potential client and project collaborators. At Google, I lead the AI and ML machine learning plaf, uh, platform for Google as a practice, and it's my responsibility to ensure that our customers are successful in using our cloud technologies and also in those spaces such as retail, manufacturing, and engineering, also in a sustainable way. It's also my responsibility to ensure that the customers, they are successful. And also I need to guarantee the, the readiness of services and the security as well. And I do not mean security only in terms of protecting uh, passwords or protecting data of customers, but also in using technologies in a responsible way. And my team is working towards that. And my employer benefits from employing me as a chartered engineer who is devoted to the excellence of the engineering uh, uh, standards, who also understands and upholds the values, professional commitment, and code of conduct, conduct required of those representing the engineering profession. It has also demonstrated my engineering competence to fellow engineers and also other employers who seek to hire me as well. As a Google Fellow for Ethics, I work helping Google to develop and understand how to build tools that will mirror the society we are building them for, and also help me to help the company in creating open source technologies that will mitigate the issues in ethics and fairness and deliver of responsible AI, not only for the company, but also for the companies outside, or other enterprises and startups just starting up with uh, working in the field of AI. As a chartered engineer, I have been equipped with the confidence to be forthright in my views and be able to challenge at the highest level to ensure the right things they get done. And this is highlighted as one of the four fundamental principles in the statement of ethical principles, accuracy and rigor. From a personal point of view, it has helped me very much with commitment to continuous professional development, CPD, which is very important for any engineer who wants to continue building up their career. My career goal is to become a vice president of engineering, and the engineering standards are helping me to achieve this goal by continuous learning and developing my skills in my career in engineering. It has also provided me with opportunities to connect with influential and inspirational people. I have connected with fellows chartered engineers or worldwide learned from them how they achieve their status and experience as professional engineers. I also managed to build profitable working relationships with other specialists in the field. I have had opportunities to engage in projects that were presented to me because of my professional registration. I work with Windsurf alongside NASA and the Japanese Space Agency on the creation of the interplanetary internet. And that is one of the things that was given to me because of the recognition that I was a chartered engineer. It has helped me also to influence and support younger engineers to be also become chartered because they see me as a role model because I have the engineer, I have met the engineering standards. I also got the opportunity to volunteer and to help the Institute of Engineering and Technology where I am a member and also in my company and my region to help people to absorb the standards on. The advice I would pass on someone considering professional registration is to not be hesitant to apply because you have a fear of failing. One of the factors that contributed to my decision to apply to professional registration is that even if you are initially unsuccessful in the professional review interview, the panel of assessors will give you guidance on the areas that you should improve, which is something that I found quite uh, helpful in gaining that uh, faith that I would receive uh, guidance from them. Those are the five things that I would like to highlight to you today. And being a chartered engineer is really a pleasure to me. And also it's what guarantees to my employer that I am committed to the highest standards of the engineering profession. Thank you very much.